Hello and welcome back to episode 23 of Lincoln Bio, a show that showcases Vegas culture, creatives, small business, and everything in between. And we're super, uh, we are super excited to have Mia. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Pretty good. Um, before we do get started, go ahead and grab this. Look at that camera, and you're gonna name your show. Name my show. Yeah, name whatever you want. It's gonna be a title for okay. YouTube. The show is Ray Mia. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything crazy happened today? Uh, no, everything was smooth. Pre uh, pretty productive. It was pretty productive. Yeah. I woke up, got dressed to come here. I hey, appreciate it. It's my first stop of the day. Oh, um, it's gonna. You have a busy day today. Kind of. I do. Afterwards, I got a dinner to go to. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Where at? Well, it's somewhere at the resort world. What? Nice. Yes. Who is he? Oh, it's nobody. Oh, it's nobody. You don't take <laughs> oh, yourself out? Oh, yeah, no. You know, I'm sure. oh, oh, of course. I'm taking my... You got to treat yourself. 1,000%. Yeah. Um, You said that uh, you have a you have a music coming out? Yeah, I got new music coming out. I just dropped music uh -huh. like two months ago. So that's still new. But I got some love songs for February. What? Yes. Can, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's songs. Um, It's passionate songs. It's about like expressing love. And like a real R and B way, yeah, you know, because I'm a big fan of Mita Baker uh -huh. and stuff. So like, it's music for the soul. So yeah, I'm excited. You gonna feel it when you hear it, and you gonna be like, oh. So basically, it's kind of like a little, little baby making music. No, it's like more of an appreciation of a person that you love. It's more of like telling somebody how much you love them. It's not like a, I wanna. Let me go, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's the one. He's the one. Yeah, he's the one if you know what I'm saying. If you play this song, he's gonna be the one. Um, do you have a music video already made for it? I'm in the works of that right okay. now. Okay. Do you is it like you already got the person already? Nothing. Oh, so everything's like still in the back. Yeah, story. I just got the song done and everything and I'm getting it yeah, so I just got photo shoots and stuff for the promo. Yeah, I I do need a music video. That's what I'm working for. I know. I know, I know, I already yes. know, I already know. Um who? What was like your inspiration to make that song? What is the song called? It's called Heart, Mind, Body, Soul. Heart, Mind, Body, and Soul. Yeah, but it's abbreviated, so it won't be so long to say. <laughs> what was like your inspiration to making it happen? Like, um, what was like the whole process of that? Okay, the writing. When I found the beat, automatically I already knew. Like, you know, my mom was like, "You always writing songs about the breakups. Like, write a love song." I'm like, "Yeah, you're right." You're right, and then I just thought about the things that I love, and um, I had two brothers who passed away. So, yeah, so the beginning part, my heart, my mind, my I love you, you uh -huh. know, but as we go on to the song and everything, it's about a relationship. So it's like multiple things. I'm right. a Gemini, so it's like when I'm writing, like yes. everything comes into play. You have two. Yeah. It, for being a Gemini, it's just like I'm coming at this at one ink. Actually, not even at one angle. Yeah, You're coming no. all at once. Yeah. And you just really got to break. I hate being Gemini. Yeah. The whole, I love it. The whole two-faced thing. It's not it's real. Just, it's, not, it's not real, but like, it, sometimes it feels like, dude, it's just like, I think it's the it's like the approach of it. It's like, hey, you're just coming at it at multiple once. Like, thinking-wise, like, it's a love. It's a love-hate relationship. It's just all at once. You see you every gotta, perspective yeah. that it could be. No. Yeah, so, like, yeah, I wrote it, that part, like, some of it for the, my brothers that passed away. And then um, the rest was, like, experience that I went through with the, um, like, we're not, you know, we don't talk anymore, but when I wrote the song, like, it made me think of the good times I was dealing with somebody. And, uh -huh. like, you know, it brought, you know, so I was able to write times. the songs. Yeah, it was, it's not all bad. I mean, like, so. It happens. Some, like, you but wish for the best for I made it. I got a great song out of it. So. It's for sure going to be a one-hit wonder. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, uh, it's cold not. Blooded. No, he cold, got cold me. He no. got me. Nah, no, 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 it's gonna be good. Though. <laughs> it's good. It's gonna be really good. Um, amazing. <laughs> Is there any hard times of the obstacles that you ever went through with it? You say what? Any like hard times with like, with with the with like the one you love? Like any hardcore obstacles with it making it? Like um, no, it wasn't hard. Like. When I write, I write stories. So, like, it wasn't hard. I love to write. Like, it wasn't hard. Even bringing back the memories and everything and thinking about everything. Um, no, I'm happy it ended. 
And then, uh, are you guys in, like still in good terms? Yeah, we're still in good terms. Like, yeah, we're still like I can hit him up and say, "Hey, how you doing?" Like everything good. Like we still on good terms. I can never get that. What you got it? It's I'm not a bad person, so you can't hate me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to hate you if you even did me wrong. It's just like it is what it is. You can go over there. I'm gonna go over there. We can still be cool. And just keep it civil. Yeah, like. I don't want to hate anybody. Yeah. I don't want. Yeah, As I think hating someone takes a lot of energy. So much energy. Just like I used to. Uh, hate passionately with my kid's mom because mm-hmm. she was like my first like first time love and all that mm-hmm. and it's like i didn't know how to deal with it and i went to a crazy roller coaster ride yeah. and it was so uncomfortable i hate it it's a learning experience though. it was a learning experience and i did not i did not enjoy it every time i like try to talk to her i do it i'm like oh, sorry for being a douchebag yeah. I was hardcore douchebag. Dude. Damn. At least you can admit yeah. that. People can't even admit no. that. You can't. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I just want to be civil. Whatever you want. Right, I'm cool. like, I don't want no problems. I don't want to fight, dude. I'm problems. sorry. If I could take all that shit back, I totally would. Yeah. But it's a learned experience. That's why you went through it. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's what that's what um, who Who's your top three inspirations? Uh, As far as in like music mm-hmm. or like artists as well? Mm-hmm. Anita Baker. Okay, why? Because, like, she sings from her soul. I just love Anita Baker. Like, I grew up, I'm from Oakland, California. So, like, my grandma, my mom, like, they played her songs, and it's just flashbacks, and it just, it's like a feel, a feel-good place. Whenever I hear her music, I just remember when I was a kid, like, growing up, and it's just, like, a comfortable spot. And it just, um, I don't know. So, most, s- most of your inspiration comes from her? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it comes from her and Beyonce. Beyonce? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I was just listening to it, and it's so crazy because it's on her first album, and it's called Hip Hop Star. Okay. I and haven't it's heard that like, one I know. It's like with Big Boy. Um, I think his name is Big Boy. My bad. But, yeah, that's my favorite song. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. It just brings out this, like, this raunchy side. like A little, a little, a little, a little bounce in between both, right? Uh-huh. Um, and then, uh. Do you ever get like? Can you ever like listen to the same music over and over again? Yeah, my music. Of course, of course that. Yeah. But like a Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, I do. I yeah, do. I put this put on repeat. Yeah, I put it on repeat. Um, and then uh, do you ever? When you're in the recording studio, do you, like, what is your process of? From the beginning to end of writing the song, going to the studio, and you and the producer, producer. correct? Mm-hmm. How does that workflow like? When is there something that you don't like or don't do or like? Oh yeah. How's that communication between you and the producer? I recently had a great producer, and um, I don't know. His name is Nietzsche. He's here in Las Vegas. Okay. He's, he's he's wrong. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, my last couple of songs that's come down and everything, like, he understands the ear, what you want, and he'll let you know, like, yo, that don't sound right. Like, you should go ahead and, like, you know. Uh-huh. So, the writing process, um, when I hear the beat, I get, that's when my, my thoughts come for the beat. Oh, so I got to hear the beat first. Beat first, and then the And then process. I'll start writing. I'll okay. freestyle it. And then once I freestyle it, I'll dissect it and say, okay, hey, we can go with this part. And then write out the storyline, like what I can relate to, uh-huh. and then uh, yeah, everything comes easy once I hear the beat. Um, was it like how long does that usually take? Like, Ooh. okay, so I'll hear the beats, and I can get like a chorus within like the hour. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta. Yeah, I'll keep replaying the beat or whatever, and it goes. And then uh, within an hour, I can have a chorus. But for me, like to write the whole song, I'm not gonna lie, it's like three days. That's I'm pretty good. Yeah, I've been getting faster. You know, because I have a, a life. You know, I have a son. I have a, a six-year-old. So, like, but, yeah, I've been getting faster and getting more songs done. Do you think being faster will p- speed up the process of your music career or just, like, taking your time, really, depending on what you're um, trying to achieve? Getting faster is just exercising your brain, like, uh-huh. to get it out quicker. It's just a exercise, you know what I'm saying? Like, no more procrastination. I think that's what took me so long in the first place was procrastination. Like, you know. Yeah, no, yeah, I definitely like predict you that. You got to get to it. I was like, when I woke up today, I was like, hey, I have a podcast issue. And it's at, the first one's at 1030. I'm like, 
damn. And it's like 945. Dude. Fuck. I'm not going to lie to you. I was on that same yeah. stuff this morning. Like, I was like, I woke up at 10. Uh-huh. But I didn't start getting dressed till 11. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, and it's like that. Because, it, like, uh, sometimes a lot of people say, hey, I want to be on the show, which is fine. It's cool. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to, if you can't make it, don't make it. It's fine. Because at the end of the day, you're you're coming out your way just to be on here. Mm-hmm. And if you can't make it today, you want to make it eventually, and you can. It's here. But I, I, re- I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. I really do. Because, like, it's new, too, right? Yeah. So to me, it's new to me. Oh no! So it's that's dope. I'm still, I still, I still get nervous, uh, just trying to just keep a convo- conv- conversation going because, mm-hmm. like, dude, it's like you're here. You I know. know I mean? Once you keep doing it, though, it's gonna be like oh, yeah. butter. Eventually, I'll, I can't kind of be like uh, Joe Rogan. Eventually, right? Just like, hey, you want you just want right. to talk about something? Just roll through. Right. Let's go. I have a question. Um, hey, Ramia. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering. You mentioned being a mother. You have a six year old. Mm-hmm. Um, how has motherhood impacted your songwriting? Oh, uh, majorly. Like, you know, my heart is so, I love my son. Like, that's my everything. So, like, when I'm writing music and I'm writing about love songs, like, he's definitely on my mind. Like, he sings with me. He's there with me. He's through the process when I'm writing my music and playing it over and over. He's right there dancing or, you know, I, I got to tell him to sit down sometimes. So, I, but <laughs> he'd be on it. Like, I, I wouldn't be shocked if he starts singing. Yo. I wouldn't be shocked. You made a star yeah, without trying. Like, no, just yeah, made a star. yeah, he he be on it. That's my that's my boo. That's so dope. That's so dope. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. That's a really great relationship to have with your son. Yeah, I love it. Uh, the music, I love it. And because not everyone could have that. It's mm-hmm. just depending on the background or what they're going through. Yeah, and I don't let him see all that like that. That's good. Yes, yeah, he's six years old. Mm-hmm. He should trying to give him everything. Yeah. He's not going to be a kid forever. you got to really enjoy it. I know. Right. I'm happy my son is a kid kid. Like, he still play with his toys. He's not trying to be on social media, trying to do too much. He's still a kid kid. He's so having fun. Going Perfect. outside, playing, that's what he wants to do. Yeah. yeah. Love that. That's what I love. Because I'm a kid myself. And I think I think we're all kids out at yeah. the end of the day. And oh especially and especially if you have a kid. Oh, my God. I'm definitely going to bring out the kid yeah. in me. Like, whatever like, you want to do. I met a couple... Well, a lot of 30-year-olds and stuff. And it's just like, did we ever grow up? No. Like, what the? Each stage I'm growing to, I'm like, yo, I thought y'all was the grown-ups. Like, what's right. going on? What's going on? <laughs> like, what's going on? Um, do you took any classes or anything? Yeah, to I took a violin class in high sc- uh, middle school and a little bit of high school. Yeah, I took some violin classes. Uh, I never had vocal training. Well, vocal classes, like in choir or uh-huh. anything like that. But, um... So you self taught? Yeah, self taught. YouTube by any chance? YouTube? Yeah. I do uh yeah, yeah. I do YouTube like yeah, for like yeah. the warm ups, yeah, the vocal warm-ups. warm-ups and stuff. Yeah. It's a free tool. Uh, uh, yeah. You better use it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's right there. When people ask me like, Hey, uh, what did you learn this stuff? You know, YouTube University. Hmm, okay. I ain't trying to go to film school. I ain't Get them shout outs. YouTube University. All day. Mm. Do you uh do you vlog by any chance? Do I blog? Yeah, like vlog. No, I need to. Yeah. I have to learn how to d- get down into that stuff. So I need to learn. You need to learn. It's definitely on my mind, though. I always thought about it, but I just never really did it. Either. Sit down and just have fun with it. Yeah. I feel it. It's it's takes a... Uh, they make it look easy on YouTube. And it's I not. I know. It's not. Like, I've been trying to... I, I could do it. It's just like, damn. I need a second person. And just hold a camera and just, like, go... just. Uh-huh. Keep the camera on me, just follow me. But it never does. It's just, it's a lot of work. And then just editing, like, dude, I, I can't edit this. I got I got another project I need to finish that's more, way more important. Right. So it's like, now you backed up. Like, yeah. okay, I got so much stuff to do. But you're doing it. I'm trying. You're doing it's it. It's a lot of work. You're doing it. I appreciate that. The start that. is the, the most important part. Um, uh, Can you plug yourself in real quick? Like, uh, your Instagram and TikTok. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. I'm new to this, too. Okay, so I'm Ray Mia. You can find me at Ray Mia underscore on Instagram. You can find me at, on YouTube as Ray Mia. Uh, anywhere, pretty much, Ray Mia, which is R-A-Y-M-I-A underscore underscore. Yeah. That's a lot of underscores. It's two. Two underscores. That's a lot. Because somebody else named Ray Mia, they got my name. Mm. So, like, I can't use it. 
That's not cool, man. I thought it was that, the only one for so long. It can long. only be one. No. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was all like, but she cool. We actually follow each other. Hey. No way. Yeah. Hey, Ramia, she, solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> if you name Ramia, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick question, Ramia. So you're uh, an incredible singer. I got the chance to check out some of your songs okay, uh, before you okay. came through. Um, you're self-taught, which is crazy. But what made you like push that button to be like, okay, I'm a recording artist now. I'm not just someone that sings. I'm a real recording artist. Like, did yeah. you have someone that was in the studio with you, or what? What drove you to that point? To well, my whole in? family sings. Oh, my grandpa, dope. my mom, my grandma, my auntie rapped. You know, so like I always, oh, my uncle, my, my your, cousin, your he, auntie rapped. Yeah. What? My auntie Maisha. <laughs> Yo, shout uh-huh. out. <laughs> she rapped. Her name was Cool Breezy, and she was doing her thing. Yo. Yeah. So uh, in Oakland. But yeah, uh, music. Oh, she was getting hypey out there. She was. <laughs> she was killing. <laughs> I could feel you. <laughs> I know her song. She probably don't want me to sing it, but. That's nice. Yes. And um, I got some cousins out there that rap. You know, Ricky Styles. That's my cousin. Okay, so, but uh, I knew I wanted to be a recording artist. Like, I just love writing. Mm. And I always love singing and stuff. So, like, it was probably in 2015 I recorded my first song. Uh, it was right after my cousin passed away, Troy. So, right after he passed, like, I just knew, like, it's go time. Because I just feel like when people pass, they don't they shouldn't pass for no reason. You should be putting in some work. I don't know. I just feel like. I'm not gonna never let somebody. Just, I love pass for no reason. Like I'm gonna go get it. Like I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna yeah. go do that. Like it's a motivational thing. You know, that's how I take it. That's I don't real. take it as a own. I'm just gonna lay here and mope around. And it's like, nah, I got you. You, you go. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Have you and any of your family uh, family members like collab on like on the music? Yes, I have a cousin named Dollar Dollar Chubbs. <laughs> we did a song, and it's actually on my project. On my Project Control, and it's out everywhere. You guys go stream that. But, um, yeah, we did a song, and it's called Ride or Die, and I was, like, six months pregnant when I recorded it with them. And the song's fire. I'm not going to lie. It's hot. But that's the only one I did a collab with. Um, Hopefully I can do more with my family, but, you know. I want to hear one with your aunt. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really cool. cool. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I'll see. I'll yeah. see how she feeling. <laughs> <laughs> she got to dust off the, you know, the pin. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So, so uh, you said you got a cousin out there named Ricky Styles. Ricky Styles. He, he's popping. He's popping. He's popping. Yeah, my cousin popping. Yo, like he got out. some songs out there. He's doing his thing. So. That's yeah. fire. Is that like when you guys go to like Thanksgiving and stuff like that? Is everyone like competing? Like, yo, check out my I streams. Know. Like, <laughs> no, it's not. It's crazy, but we do play his music and play our music and stuff like that. But um, no, it's never competition. We always congratulate each other. We always congratulate each other. Do you guys like uh, critique your own, you guys each other's music as well? Not really. No, nah, I mean you doing your thing. I'm doing my thing. You know. If it sound good, I'm gonna let you know it sound good. But if it sound bad, you like it enough to put it out. So what is my critique to you? Like, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I don't critique it. Okay. No. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's all love. Yeah. It's, it's all love, love when yeah. it comes to putting out projects. That's how yeah. you feel, and it's an expression. That's it's not for me. It's for like another crowd of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna. It be, it's a whole new. It's a whole different uh, category because versus like a singer playing out music for a. Uh, Trap, trap music fan base yeah. versus trap and music. And I'm R&B, team. so we yeah. two different things and stuff, so. Yo. I mean, I try and rap. Don't get me wrong. Oh, you want to, like, you want to try right now? Yo, no. <laughs> <laughs> what those like, instrumentals on? We're known to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> do, you have, <laughs> do you have any, like, uh, advice for upcoming artists that want to, like, fall pursue of R&B music? Yeah, um, the advice I would give uh, somebody that's doing music, is stay true to yourself. If you like doing it, it's, it's not bad to take critique from different people mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but always stay yourself. Don't let nobody change you. You know, you don't want to be like the copy like a Beyonce or copy this person. They already have those people. Be right. yourself. So I say just don't let nothing discourage you either. If you, you know, like you got a little Uzi Vert that's making crazy music, but the sh- it bump. Yeah. You know, you got Doja Cat. All these different artists and Busta, Missy Elliott, just be creative and have fun with it. 
But there is a business side to yeah. So learn all that stuff. Don't just think you're gonna come in here and just have fun recording, which is fun. But you gotta also know the business side too. It's a business. You wanna yeah, make yeah. money from it, or you just wanna create music. And as an artist of the business side, how is it like that that journey, that process? Of I'm it? still learning. Same. Yeah, I'm still learning. Like it's a lot, you know. Why? Just understanding like the biz, like the taxes side. All that stuff. All that <sighs> stuff. Procrastinating. It's all that stuff and. And everything copyrighted and going through all these different layers and channels is just trying yeah, to do yeah. it. I'm just trying to make I'm music. still learning. And we live in a whole nother type of um generation. Generation. And we got the social media and stuff and the streams now. So obviously like no more CDs. We know that. Like I'm not that old, but yeah, so it's like you gotta use all the platforms and all it's so you know, you gotta use all of that. The, the TikTok, the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. What's, uh, what's your main platform? Right now, it's Spotify, but where I promote my stuff at is on Twitter. Twitter, it gets me a lot of views. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, especially yeah. at specific timings. Like, you got to know how people are, are woke on different sides of the world. Uh -huh. So, like, at 3 a.m., you got this whole other side of the continent that's awake. You need to be promoting at that time, too. You, be more, you know what I'm saying? Like, Do you, do you like, schedule your post or something of like course. that? Okay. So of course. Okay. So, everything's pretty. Of course. After you, after you look at your insights, you just like, all right, this is what you got to know do. when... It's dark time over here. People sleep. Yeah. You got easier access to get to other people that's still up on the other side because it's, it's slow on this side because everybody's asleep. Yeah. So you can go and go and promote your stuff because people are asleep on your side of town right now. Like, you yeah. might just focus on them too. And then I think uh, promoting in a different part of the world is also amazing too because just how we listen to the UK music that we find on TikTok, mm -hmm. it just bangers. Yeah, isn't it crazy? It's insane. I, don't I know what love saying, it though. But it's, I love it. it's a connection. We gotta all be united. So I love it. I love hearing all the UK and all the. It just it's yeah. just different time zones, the people you can meet, and then the fact that you could grow like a fan base on a different side of the continent. It's amazing. It's and dope. then when they reach out to you, hey, I love your music. Mm -hmm. I love everything you do. I'm a big fan. Let me know when you're coming. Yeah. What? And you can see it too on Spotify. Like if you have an account, yeah. you can see all the con continents and countries of people that's watching you and all that stuff. So, um, do you use any like Facebook ads or anything like that? No, nothing. Everything's, everything's pure organic. Yeah, I'm still learning. Yeah, I, I'm still everything's organic. I'm still learning. So, I mean, I got it to the point. Is but you know, doing all the video. Like I like right now, I need visuals. Uh -huh. Like I know that's important. People don't even. Want to see who you are and stuff and how you get down, down you know. So, uh, yeah, so it's like important to get visuals. Hey. But go to your local vi videographer because you need the videos more than you need them all themselves. <laughs> uh, lost my train of thought. Hey, that was a fire ass ad. Go to Cersei <laughs> Production. <Yeah. laughs> Yo, shout out, Ramia. Right yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go to your local. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And hopefully, this, this helps out bring. Bring uh, bring you closer to your fans and everyone else because this platform is for everyone. Yeah. If you ever want to come back later on and just do oh, a you little know, I am. Yes. Of course. But but I don't think you perform next yeah. time though. Oh, oh next time, sure. I'll, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Let me know. <laughs> yeah. Set it We're up. just some hot tea, all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, honey, Ginger, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Noted. Yes. Noted. Do you have any uh, uh, events coming up? Yeah, I have one coming up in February. Okay. It's February 12th. It's on a Sunday. And it's at this new restaurant that's opening up. Ooh. Well, it's a lounge, so I'll get more update on that when I get more update on that. Okay. But that's the next one. And then, um, yeah, I got some work. I got some things in the works. So, you know, it's Valentine's. It's a love month. The whole month is love month. So we're going to have a lot of nice stuff going on. I am stay in super touch. excited. Mm -hmm. if, man, if we could work today, that'd be cool. Of course. Um, is there a, let's say, uh, any... I have a true question. Go for it. Uh, so I was stalking your Instagram right now, mm -hmm. and I saw you played <laughs> at uh, Sin City Seafood. Which, okay. Uh, yo, I, uh, I hosted a couple of shows over there. I Did love you? that spot. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was just wondering how that ladies' night event went. Oh, what happened, you know? my God. Because I'm still high off of it. You know, like, oh. it was such a great experience. Because I was like, that's like the first show of the year, uh -huh. you know. And I got to showcase some new music people never heard yet. And a lot of people came out and showed love. Other artists, like, um, I don't know if you guys heard about Lisi. She's a, a singer here in Vegas, and she's doing her thing. And then there's this other young lady. 
And they're just doing their thing out here. Were you nervous? I wasn't nervous. I was just ready to um, rock it out. Like, I was ready. I wasn't, I'm not nervous no more. It's just like, I've always been nervous. I always, and it held me back so much. So now yeah. I just take it with me. Like, come on, like, we're going. We're going. We're going. I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. come on. I had a great time. It was a lot of love in there. So. Yo, shout out. Shout out. I just had to ask. Like, yeah, I just saw no, it and I was I like, yeah, that's my people. The food was great. Oh, the food, 10 out of 10. Oh, my 10 God. 10 out of 10 over there. Yeah. Oh my God. You don't I find was... spices like that in Vegas. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It was fire. Like, I'm about to go order a plate when I leave from here. Yeah. I'm hungry. Like, Yo. yeah, that was nice. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty much it, man. I'm I'm just beyond amazed. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm just so happy. I am yeah. too. I'm happy to be here and have fun with you guys. You guys are really cool people. Hey, yeah, hey, thank this you. is a great opportunity. Um, any more questions, Rex? Uh, no, I think that's it for me, guys. Go ahead and give us a little outro, and that's the show for sure. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like it, share it with a friend, because your boy trying to quit his day job. Okay. Uh, thank you for yes. being here. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Please check her out. All the links are down below. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right. And we out. Bye. Hey.